What's up guys? Welcome to our virtual V-Fit workout of the day. We're going to get started out with our general aerobic warm-up. Here, all we're going to need is just a jump rope and your body weight. We're going to have four total rounds of work here. We're going to have three different things. First thing is just going to be a one minute jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you just do a jumping jack in place. That'd be perfectly fine. From there, we're just going to do our body weight squats. We're going to get 15 reps there and then we'll bring it down to the ground and we're going to do a push up for five to 10 reps. So you guys kind of feel it out. If you feel like five is enough, do five. If you feel like you need to do 10, do 10, right? So it's going to be four rounds, a one minute jump rope, 15 body weight squats, and then five to 10 push ups. Once you're done with the four rounds there, we'll shake it out, take a little sip, take a little breather. And then we're going to move on to our specific series. Our specific series, we're just going to work on opening up the chest and the lats a little bit. The first thing that we're going to do is just our lying lat stretch. So we'll be hands, knees and toes in the ground. We're going to reach our hand out and sit our hips back, trying to get our ear in line with the bicep, working that lat stretch. That's going to be five on each side. From there, we're going to lay over to our side and we're going to have hand on top of hand. We're going to do a lying windmill. So we're going to rotate over the top and back to center. That's going to be five on each side as well. Once we're done with that, we'll take it to our back and we're just going to do a good old fashioned glute bridge. That's going to be 15 reps. So once we're through that series, we're going to have three rounds there. So it's going to be five lat stretches each side, five windmills each side, and then 15 total glute bridges. Hey, what's up guys? For our first series of the day, we're going to get started. We're going to need only a moderately weight kettlebell. We're gonna have three rounds. We're gonna have 20 seconds of three different movements, all right? So I'll quickly kind of go over each movement. First thing that we're gonna have is just gonna be a kettlebell deadlift. So starting from the ground, kettlebell between the feet, we're gonna push the hips back, grab onto the kettlebell and stand it up from there. And we're gonna go for 20 seconds of time there, just trying to rep out as many reps as we can. From there, we're gonna head over into our single arm row. So grabbing the kettlebell, bending over at the waist we're going to row to the rib cage we're going to go 20 seconds on both sides and then our last thing is going to be a kettlebell clean to a squat so i'll start from the hang position again pushing the hips back pull it up to the shoulder and then go down right into a squat and that would alternate sides here for 20 seconds on our kettlebell clean and squat like I said, we're gonna have three rounds of work there, 20 seconds of each exercise again. All right, guys, so now we're on to our second series here. Only thing that you are going to need is your body weight, a little bit of effort, and a band. So our first exercise that we're gonna do, everything that we're gonna do here is gonna be for 30 seconds of time. We're gonna have three total rounds of each movement though. So first thing is just nice and basic. We're just gonna do a push up off the ground. We can do that from a modified position if you need or you can do it from a regular high plank position, but it's gonna be 30 seconds of push-ups. From there, we're gonna grab our band, we're gonna do our band pull-aparts, grabbing it about shoulder width apart, pulling to and through the chest, make sure we get a good contraction of the upper back. We're going for 30 seconds, just pumping out some reps there. And then our last thing, back in that high plank position, we're gonna do our hand walks. So we're gonna go in, in, out, out, for 30 seconds of time as well. So again, we got three exercises, a push up, band pull apart, and a hand walk for three rounds, 30 seconds of each. And we'll get move on to our little bit of core work after. All right, guys, so for our core work here, the only thing that you're gonna need is a weight. It could be a dumbbell, it could be a kettlebell, a small child, whatever you have access to. There are gonna two exercises that we're gonna have. The first thing is just gonna be a sprinter sit up. So we're gonna be lying on our back. We're gonna sit up, we're gonna drive opposite arm and leg to the chest, we're gonna go 20 total reps there. From there, with our weight, we're gonna be on our back, we're gonna do a dead bug. So you're gonna hold the weight in front of you and we're gonna, as we have both knees bent, you're gonna reach the foot out and the weight overhead and then pull it back in and that's gonna be 10 reps on each side. So again, we got our sprinter sit-ups for 20 total reps, 10 each side, and then our weighted dead bugs for 10 reps on each side as well. 
All right, so now we are on to our finisher. The only thing that you are going to need here is our kettlebell that we used in the first series. We're gonna have two exercises that we're gonna do. We're gonna go from 10 reps down to one rep and then back up to 10 reps. The first exercise is just gonna be our kettlebell swing. So hinging at the hips, hiking the kettlebell through. We're gonna start at 10 reps, work our way down to one. And then our second thing, holding the kettlebell between the feet still, we're gonna do a squat jump. So how we're gonna do that is we'll do 10 kettlebell swings, 10 squat jumps. Nine, eight, seven, six, and I think you kinda of got the point now. All the way down to one, once you get to one, you can, you're gonna do one again, and then work your way back up to 10 of each exercise. Once we're done with those two exercises, going from 10 to one and back up to 10, we are done for the day, guys. All right, great stuff, and I'll see you next time.